It's that time of year. It's that time, man. It's that time. I got something special for you guys today. What's going to be one is Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com. I'm dropping something new for everybody today. Haven't done this in a while, but I'm excited. But yeah, today we're making a beat for J. Cole, probably because of that one guy who's in my comment section in almost every video saying, yo, when can we get the J. Cole video? He's been asking me for such a long time. I thought I'd just do it already. Anyone in the online class or thinking of joining, tomorrow I have my advanced mixing course come out to go along with the advanced music theory and advanced drums courses. Super insightful, super in-depth about mixing techniques. Keep an eye out for that, but let's get into the video. I'm starting here with this chord progression that I made. Here's the MIDI if anyone's interested, but this is what it sounds like. So a nice like emotional chord progression. I thought that I would show you guys how I would add a melody to this and then we could do the drums in the style that J. Cole would have it. So for the melody, we're gonna add a new pattern and I have a harmonica sound loaded up. First, I'm gonna figure out the key. E minor. And that takes us to what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I just dropped a new course, not a part of the online class. This is a standalone individual course called the Master of Melody course. I made this because I've been helping hundreds of people with my past courses like Music Theory Masters, Advanced Course course, Master of Drums. All those courses have truly helped so many people. So I want to make another one all about melody this time. It's about what, almost 30 plus 30. This is plus 20 is 80 minutes 80 minutes of exclusive course material all about melodies i broke it down into three videos for you in the first one it's all about the science of sound selection and why choosing your instruments and your sound selection can make a huge difference in the melodies that you're making and the way that they're arranged in the second video we go over all the different styles of melody whether it's taking a simple repetitive melody and making it more developed and complex freestyle melodies melodies in chords on top of chords harmonies slide notes and in the third video which is pretty fun i go over clicking in notes in a daw versus playing on a keyboard versus coming up with a melody in your head and translating it into a laptop so you can compare and contrast all these different ways to create a melody i'm really excited about it because i know it's going to help so many people i really put as much information into these courses as i possibly could and as always anyone who gets the course can email me and send me their beats or their melodies for feedback or if they have any questions and i'll always answer them so that's available now at chambersmixedit.com slash sound kits link in the description and in the comments section for making the melody for this beat looking into the chord progression i can see i started making melodies within the chords and using some harmony so i'll probably do a melody that's in a higher register up above the chords And this is a sneak peek at one of the many techniques that I go over in the master melody course where I do a repetitive melody like this maybe just four quarter notes And then what I do is go back into the melody and change up some of the notes to make it sound more complex Then I'll add some notes on top to get some harmonies going. And notes under as well, just adding these different layers of melody. And then I'll go in and see if I could take any notes out to make it more spaced out. I'm gonna take that, add a bunch of reverb to it and export it as audio. And there's our melody. Probably do some with some strings too. And because of our sound selection with the sustained string, I'm gonna be having a much more elongated melody. It's not gonna be as frequent and as often as that piano is. Just to fill up space in the background. Keep that same note at F sharp. Put that into audio. Now I'm gonna play those same chords with a pad on a synthesizer and I'm gonna add a vocal sample. It's 
So there we go. Now we're ready for the drums. If you want to learn so much more about melody, choosing the right sounds for your melody, the different ways that you could play your melody out and have a variety of truly effective skills to make your beats a much higher quality, I highly recommend the Master Melody course now available. Links down below for you. For this, it's not really going to be trap sounding. So I'm going to use my R&B Trap Fusion drum kit and let's select our sounds. I want to snare first. Something that got some, some impact to it. Snare sounds far. I might layer that with a clap. I want a really light clap to layer with a heavy snare like this. So probably clap too. I want a kick that's going to hit. Hi-hats. Hi-hat number four is cool. I'm going to grab two open hi-hats. Those could be very important in these types of beats. And what I'll do is shorten them like that by upping the out knob. Those will be the basics of our drums. So let's get started with that. I'm going to start with that snare and that clap I was talking about. Right there hit control c go down to the clap while having it selected and hit control v and that will copy it in so alone it sounds like this can't even hear it right cannot hear the clap at all so what i'll do is go into the piano roll you want to hold alt while having the clap selected in the piano roll right and hit your arrow key to the uh to the right and you'll see it move and that will offset it and now you can hear that clap more and that'll give it more of a humanized feel because the clap's not hitting directly on beat, quantized and everything. Now we're gonna add the kick. Add the hi-hat for these two steps. And then we're gonna add some gaps in it to replace with the open hi-hat. Shorten that. And the hi-hats still feel like too static for me. So I'll go in here and I'll pretty much adjust the pitch of each one and make it more random so it doesn't sound like the same boring Phillies two steps. I'll also go into the velocity and take every hat that's not on a direct quarter note. So all of these and lower the velocity. So it makes it more dynamic instead of it's, you know what I mean? And I'm also gonna take each hat and go different directions with velocity here. I mean, not panning, my fault. So it's left and right. Now the real element that's gonna glue everything together is gonna be that bass. So I'm gonna go into Nexus for that. And I believe since we're in E minor, the bass note is gonna be that E. And then it goes down one, two, three, four. Put that into audio. I like that pitch down. I brought everyone down one semitone. I'm gonna go into the patterns and add some extra notes here and there. Make this kick pattern unique. I like that hat better. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of percussion here and there. This one gotta be pitched up. Don't, don't, down, don't, don't. So here's the drums by themselves. I mean, this could be the beat by itself. Like, if you wanna separate a hook from a verse, you could just do this. And with that change of melody and chord progressions coming in, these different melodic instruments here and there, you can really picture somebody just rapping over all of it. I think it definitely worked for J. Cole. One of the most important things besides the emotion that you get from the melody and the punch that you get from the drums is definitely the hi-hats. Just making them sound more lively and more dynamic with pitch changes, velocity changes, panning changes. Take some out, replace it with an open hi-hat. I'm gonna play the whole thing for you now. I 
came out pretty far. And remember, if you're trying to get nice sound melodies, check out my brand new master melody course out now, chambersmixedit.com slash soundkits. I promise you it's going to up your game. And if you're interested in the drums, it's the R&B Trap Fusion Drum Kit, also available down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what tutorials you guys want to see in the future or challenge videos, whatever videos you guys want to see. It's Chambers, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Chambers.